Right, <clears throat> welcome back everybody. I'm now in St John's in the Vale. Across the A66, which once I got the other side of that gate, uh, which was unbelievable because there was when I got to the gate and went through it, there was no cars coming in either direction, which is a first. So straight across, straight down the main road that goes through St John's in the Vale, and again. The only traffic was coming towards me and past me in the other lane. Nothing overtook me, so I could have filmed, even though it was bumpy, but I managed to avoid the bumps because I could travel where I wanted on the road. No cars. So, I've just come off that. You can hear it's pretty quiet, off the water. And a few bees buzzing around. So some of this is a bit hilly, so I'll see how we go on, but... Uh, Let's go for it, shall I? I think I have filmed this before. So, if you have seen it before, I apologise, but to be honest, it's so nice, it's worth filming again. There's Blaine Catherine in the distance, sharp edge. Let's try and pedal up a steep, steep bit. Now down to our left, I don't know if you can see that sign. St John's in the Vale Church, which is just a little church. Basically in the middle of nowhere. But to get to it, it's mainly all uphill. And you have to stop and go through a gate. And I think I've already done it. In fact, I have already done it. It's quarter to eight at night, so I'm not going to bother going up there tonight. We'll just do the circular route, but it's down that track to that farm building. Turn left, past that white house, round the side of that fell, and just over there. to stop because that telegraph wire blocked out the view I wanted. Just stop for a second. I can get to the handbrake. Now I'm going to try and zoom in. So it's going to be a mess is this because it's always, I don't know, could have been worse. That path you see is what's known as the old coach road. So I assume without getting my facts right, that that was the old road that went from this part of the lake so over towards Penrith. Or it was one of the roads anyway. Because obviously it would be easier in the lowland bit, the valley, just here where the A66 is. And there used to be an old road just the other side of the A66. Over there. But anyway. Up there as well, just to the left of the road, and to the right above, above it is Threlkeld, Threlkeld, if I can pronounce it right, quarry. And there's Threlkeld Mining Museum further along there as well. Still up at the, the fell. God, I'll never be a cameraman, will I? Crack on a bit further. Swap hands again. Otherwise, I won't be able to change gear. You can 
probably hear from all the rattling. It's not the smoothest of roads. The thing that's rattling on this side is that bell housing. There's no way of tightening it up that I can seem to find. And what's rattling on this side is this mud guard. And I tightened it up the other day, and it's rattling again. In here. And the pot As you can see the surface is not the best, but then it is a back, back lane, a country road. Sorry for the camera work there, I was watching where I was going rather than watching what I was filming. Here we go. down to the corner and reassess. Curses are going. I've got the camera in the left hand, I'm steering and changing gear in the right hand. And I've got a fly in my left eye. And that's with wearing goggles as well. The joy. The joy. Oh the campsite's full up. Burns Farm campsite. Tim's trike trips. If he watches this, we'll recognise that because he stayed there on his tour of Cumbria. Excuse. Watch 
one of them anyway. 